Well, guys, it's September, and uh, corn's ready for chopping. We've got some mm -hmm. cows that'll be happy to finally get some more efficient uh, food. Sounds good. They're almost as big a, as big a divas as SK here. Oh, come now. <laughs> Looking spiffy. Yeah. Snazzy. All right. So we did pick up a, uh, another tractor here on lease as well as uh, this forage harvester and a couple of boxes. So let's, uh, let's see how this thing works. We're continuing our New Holland obsession with all of our uh, pull behind uh, devices here. And uh, this uh, particular uh, silage, what is this? A silage harvester is not the right word. This particular for <laughs> chopper, forage harvester, uh, has the silage additive uh, functionality here. So I'm kind of curious to see how this who, works out. Who brought this toy thing here? <laughs> hey, it's what we could get, you know. Did we bring get on least cheap? Get this for the kids or something? At the last minute. Listen, if you want to fund uh, getting uh, something bigger <laughs> off of your credit card, we can talk. Credit card. <laughs> What's a credit card? <laughs> all of our Living? bank accounts are running in the negative at this point. You want to be green or orange today? Oh, I'm green. All right. Uh, we're going to see how much of a mess I make out here with this thing. <laughs> Does anybody know how fast I'm supposed to drive with it? Well, seeing as you're only cutting like half a row of corn at a time. I think I'm getting a whole three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. um, right, let's see. You want me to drive beside you or are you going to hook up to the wagon? Um, Let's try and do the beside uh, thing and see how much oh, of a... No mistake that is so you can <laughs> chop at three miles an hour i don't know yet <laughs> we need vehicle speed sync <laughs> we're gonna try this i think, we've I got think it. we'll yeah i think we'll be fine oh it's rubber banding something fierce don't mess Are it up SK. <laughs> nope. a little bit not a whole lot. Okay. Look at that. I am driving, and I'm driving two miles an hour because I think that uh, manual attach still thinks it's trying to do its thing, so. Whoa. Oops. Come on. Man, it's hard to find good help. I can't adjust things when the machine is turned on. All right, let's try this again. So you're going to go two or three. Oh, is that as fast as it goes? No, okay, here we go. I'm going six. Oh, okay. <laughs> like two or three. <laughs> We're going to be going and getting Livin's upgrade here a lot faster. <laughs> I'm only going two miles an hour. Uh, I think I could hope. Trying to find the right gear. I've got my crew sped up, step on six here, so. Yeah, I'm going six. I'm just trying to find what the right gear is for six miles an hour. I'm actually surprised this thing's throwing it above the side of the uh, yeah, was, forage I, box. I was just going to say we're barely clearing. <laughs> I think oh. our cows. I think our cows are going to be steaks by the time we get this kind of field cut. How full are you, SK? Uh, 20%. Okay. That's actually pretty good. We're going to get some good silage off of this little field. I'm just going to sit here and wait. This could be a while. We should Whoa. make it all the way around once. Before we need to swap out. Trying very hard not to play bumper cars here with your, uh, yeah, I know. your axle, <laughs> my front axle. I don't think I've hit you yet. Not quite, but I got the uh, the hub sticking out there on my uh -oh. tires. 
I'm gonna get brave enough here in a second to try and go in cab, and that's where it's all gonna fall apart. But I'm gonna wait till we're going down the straight part, not around this curve. I feel bad for you guys trying to use your keyboards. I got my steering wheel set up, and oh, ran into you. Anyways. You say as you ram into me, it was like perfect timing. You'd done so well, and didn't want to brag about how easy it is. Oh that's man, when it gets you. <laughs> I'm waiting for Livin to <laughs> take his turn here. Oh, I man. suspect we're going to have a... I'm just wondering how instance. hard i got to run into that thing before I break it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's this small bush or tree I have to run over. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's going to get narrow up here. It is. Well, the good thing is, I mean, that thing is going to cut a, a bunch of rows of corn and widen it out a little bit, so... Got a tree I can't see through. <laughs> I know I had to go like straight up above to. Man, the where the, I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> it's Are you like throwing down. It. Nope, I'm going six still. I chose I'm going six too. You're probably in six high. Oh, now I'm lagging. I suspect. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm at 65%. When we get up to the gate, do you want me to just peel off and have live and come then so I got easy access? Yeah, I think that's going to be the best plan, but I'm at a 3,000 millisecond lag, so I'm just okay. waiting for things to <laughs> settle down. I don't know what's going on right now. All right, Liv, and you get close because when we hit the gate, I'm driving right on out. Okay. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Livin. It's all you. Oh, he's right there. I was like, where is he anyway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to get up, like, right beside me when you get up to speed. I'd just like to point out how flawlessly I'm driving r around right with you right now. Just... You haven't uh, crashed into me nearly as much as SK did. I don't think I have done it at all, actually. <laughs> well, although this is literally the exact spot we were at when SK was saying that, and then he crashed into me, so I'm just saying. I'm amused yeah. that <laughs> you're both making that claim at the exact same spot. No, uh, I mean, thing is, I'm a professional driver, you know, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. But you, we always did have you run on the getaway car, so. That's true. <laughs> you better hurry up there, uh, SK. It took me a couple it's, times, but I, I, I'm finally unloading slowly. Because, you know, with nobody running into him, he's uh, making it run the farm <laughs> or run the field pretty quickly, so. Well, but you have to travel less distance than what I did. Oh, come on. This thing is taking off two rows of corn at a time. How much how much difference is it making? Three? I'm taking off three? <laughs> That's like a whole, uh, what's that, 90 inches? I don't even know. Eight feet? Seven, seven feet? Something like that? No, I should know this. Eight feet. I'm soon going to be taking my turn to come up that way. How full are you? 66%. You better keep going because I'm still unloading. Yeah, the uh, okay. unload speed on these wagons is realistically painful. <laughs> Let me know when you get to like 95. Okay, I, I said I was going to brave in cab. I feel like this is one so, of those situations where one of those Toby eye trackers would be fun to play with. Yeah. Okay, I'm at 95. Okay. Coming. Okay, where are you at? We've got a slow silo and a fast silo for how many like cycles per month it'll do. The fast one costs quite a bit more than the slow one, though. Uh oh. So I don't know which one we want or need. Well, I'd say we can do the slower one. We don't have very much money, and we don't need that much feed. 
right? Yeah. I don't even have a feed mixer yet. <laughs> Minor. All right, SK, you've been uh, regulated to chopper duty for a round or two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, those turns will get you. This thing throws pretty far, so I feel like I can stay off of your side a little bit. Yep. Might not be super realistic, but now I know why you've got the high side option on these boxes. Oh, <laughs> Tyra was doing a little chopping there. <laughs> yeah. I was doing the same. The hitbox on the tires are a little bit wider than the actual tire. I think it kind of comes out to most of the hub, too. The thing I know I'm going to forget about is watching how full I am. Oh. I do it all the time when I'm chopping on my own, and it's just like, oh, I've been driving at 100% capacity for three passes now. Oh, we didn't need that corn there. <laughs> okay, so I know the rows are getting shorter, but not that much shorter. We've been around <laughs> two full times now, and I'm only at 68%. So I think SK is uh, being more cautious and only taking two out of the three rows half of the time here. It's hard to tell where the edge is. I know. I think I just erred on the side of running over a few stocks, but always keeping the uh, forks full, whatever they're called. The snouts. The snouts. The snoots. I don't remember. Snout. Snoot. There's another word we used to call them. I'm at 83. I don't think we're going to make it around to you living. I think you might have no. to catch up in that okay. 90. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, let's see what all the hubbub's about. If I can empty this or not. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's unloading too now. So manual attach is off for good. Yeah, manual attach. I think is. A great mod in theory. Yeah, just the execution hasn't been so good lately. Although we had problems in 19 too, it's just a wonky mod. So I'm stuck at six miles per hour and I can't move faster than that for some reason. Are you in a gear? Or do you have uh, cruise control? 
Well, I thought I had cruise control, but it's not really doing much for me. Livin, we're gonna straighten this, these rows out here. <laughs> now we're just gonna drive, drive empty, up to here. Okay. Now we're gonna start cutting in again. You know that field's not that big. You could probably just get GPS going for the long row sides and drive empty around the end row. <laughs> I thought about it. Thought about just making a cut straight down the middle, but then you run over a lot of crop. But that's how they do it with these. Yeah, usually you have it just go right behind you or whatever and run one row down, right? Yep. Oh my goodness, this thing unloads so <laughs> slow. This is why I made it an auto drive thing in uh, <laughs> UMRV, so I never had to pay attention to how slow this was. All right, Liv, we're going to stop here for a second. And let's see here. You would think, despite the fact that I've used GPS more on this save than anywhere else. Well, this will be tricky. Well, depends on how you how in depth you want to get it but this is tricky because it has an oh. offset oh. oh dear whoa what did I do <laughs> hey uh, Kedrick there's a fence there I, I noticed <laughs> alright what's the key command to set my B point anyone remember the same one is setting your A point well I just did it from the menu <laughs> uh oh because I can it's never remember the, what it is. AB button on my stream deck. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. Set B. Uh, I just went back into the menu. It is... Alt All right, let's, Oh, Alt. Okay, let's, let's drive down to the other end and see if this is going to work or not. This is a little wider than I thought it'd be. Yeah, I'm stuck on six miles per hour. I don't know why. Here, switch with me. Let me see what's going on with your tractor. I, sus I sp suspect it's because you're in a gear and auto gear shifting isn't working because uh, SK and I, or I, switched it. Like, try hitting plus on your numpad. This just won't work. Okay, yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> and if you have auto is... gears on, sometimes all you have to do is bump it once, like one gear, and then it should work. Straight lines in a circle field don't really work. No. <laughs> you want me to jump back in the chopper? If you want to, I mean, I'm relatively fine doing it. Probably better footage of you driving the chopper than trailing in a wagon. Here, let me get living full, and then uh, you and I can swap. How about that? Sounds good. Oh, my six miles an hour is faster than your six miles an hour. Well, remember, there's a six high and a six low. On the outside with the curves and stuff, I found I was actually doing seven more often than six, just to keep up. the silage additive is supposed to do. It increases your yield for your silage, I believe. I wish I felt like it was actually working. We've got 92% in here still. Like, I don't know, I guess we're not using that much, but still. I feel like it should have been getting used up faster for some reason, but maybe it's just because <laughs> cutting silage like this is painfully slow. Hey, Livin, if you get a second, look and see how much that self-propelled costs compared to... 30,000. This one. Oh, really? This thing was, like, way more than less than that, I think. Um... 
see here. Why can't I find it? <laughs> there it is. And the head is almost twice the size of this. Yeah, 30,000. They pull behind that we're using. Yeah, it was like 37,000. Plus the head. <laughs> Plus the head. The head for the New Holland is... Uh, eight. And the one that we're using on that other one was like 6,200. Yeah, so we could be using a self-propelled with twice the head width, you're saying, for... About I'm not saying price. I'm not saying anything, but you know. <laughs> so which tractor did we want to get rid of? So now that we got this I, case that seems to work really nice. I was nice. gonna say I think that we get rid of the uh, the Alice Chalmers and yeah, keep the I, Magnum. Yeah, I think right. this this tractor to me is like I'm, uh, ready to go. It's seen its better days. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. When we get uh, SK's wagon full here, let's make the switch. I just tried in cab a little bit for about 15 seconds and it was neat but then <laughs> and then you had to get scary. yourself off of my tires <laughs> yeah I did the same while chopping here and uh, likewise it was real neat for <laughs> all 30 seconds that I could do it and we were running over core <laughs> it's just hard to go in cab in game yes if I had a if it was VR I could do it but nobody wants to see me um, you jerk in your head back and forth like you would in real life to watch the row and watch behind and watch the row and oh, uh, 96% alright I'll make the curve and stop alright well this has been a fun experiment but we're going to go make some small equipment changes we've uh, had our friendly neighborhood uh landlord call with uh, more great leasing opportunities for us he was driving by going what the heck are you guys doing I've got a uh, <laughs> old self propelled forage harvester sitting in the barn if you guys want to use it so we're going to drive this back up to the yard and pick that up man I'm really sad that we're not going to be using this pull behind I know it was working so well mm-hmm Oh, it's quite a bit bigger, too, than a tractor. I don't know, after driving these little tractors, this thing feels like a giant. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's so big. <laughs> oh, no, don't hit the truck. All right, Livin, let us know you what you think that. of the uh, case. I already like it better. <laughs> So Even should we try to be fancy and cut through now? Oh wait, let I'm me get a, 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 uh, a tablet. I can watch shows and all that stuff. Huh? <laughs> what would be an appropriate angle to cut on? I think 280. There's my GPS menu. We're gonna be all fancy here. Um, or do you want to be correct and hook the wagon up to the chopper to chop through? Um, I think we try to see if I can uh, Throw it shoot it through. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how far I have. Uh, oops. Oh, this is not the right angle at all. Oh, well. <laughs> I was trying to line it up with the actual straight cornrows. This is supposedly going at 280, but instead I'm going 281. Not that one degree would have mattered. <laughs> it is actually, though, more or less hitting the middle of the field. So oh, I'm crap. cutting straight through. Oh. Feeling a bump. You got those big rubber things on the back. 
Wow, I'm already at uh, <laughs> almost 40%. Yeah, it does a lot better job when you're uh, actually chopping a whole bunch here. And, wow, look at how uh, big the discharge pipe is by comparison. Now, the difference is, is we don't get silage additive on this thing. Mm -hmm. oh. I, don't, I don't think I care, but... So do you think that we've got vehicle speed sync on here? It's one of my standard mods, but if it's not working, it's probably not on here. Seven. Just been using cruise control. Or is that uh, shift four or something? I think it's shift three. I'll let you spin around. Oh man, this is bringing back memories. Of <laughs> actually doing this I'm earlier actually in the year. Actually doing it. Yeah. Oh, sweet. We do have it. What have go. I been doing this whole time? <laughs> well, this is the case that I'm going to get up. All right, Livin, you're going to want to sneak up here. Because he's not going to make it past the end, I don't think. I'm at 78%. Oh, this is, this is chopping in style here. Yep. I should get another screenshot of this. Go. I should turn my HUD off when I do this. All right, Levin, I'm at ninety-two percent. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go and unload. Okay. I gotta turn sharper. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Livin knew that there was vehicles feed sync, and that's why he was doing so good on his outside oh. rounds. No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not at all. I was just using cruise. Uh, this whole time when we've been doing crap, I'm like, man, vehicles. <laughs> that'd be real nice. Does it um, continue to match if I change speed? It's supposed uh, to. I don't know. I don't, I've not used. I've never been the guy in the passenger side of that mod usually. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the point of it is if you're chopping, and then you know you slow down for some reason, then the other guy's also supposed to match speed and slow down. Oop, where are you going? All right, turning back around onto the other row. Okay. I have to say our yield isn't quite what I was expecting off of this field. Well, wasn't our nitrogen and pH kind of poor? Was that this field that that was the case? Yeah. Well, that makes more sense. I'm thinking of the other field then that we put more attention into. <laughs> hey, why isn't that working? This is going to make uh, life easier for sure when we're doing the other field, too. The thing is, oh, yeah. is it's, we're going to qu very quickly hit the point where <laughs> we can't keep up with these two wagons. Yeah. Oops. Well, then we just get a third spot. and you pull it and Livid and I will just shuttle them back and forth. That's true, we could definitely be doing it that way. It's so much fun unloading on the go, though. <laughs> I suppose we could get a third and <laughs> whoever's like, you take one back and start it unloading and just jump in the next tractor and drive it back out to the field and like it's, the, the unloading happens unattended. Since it's so slow and just always keep three tractors in motion two tractors in motion that way. Living how full are you? 84. Oh, yeah, you should probably just go unload. I like driving close because then it doesn't clip through the side of the trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's pointed down instead of out the side. Yep. Yeah, I've been keeping the camera just the other way for the most part so that I never notice it, but... 
this thing works out so much better all around from that perspective too, right? It's so much taller. Man, how far we've gotten with that thing. Yeah, exactly. We would have been here for two more nights trying to do it with the pull behind, so yeah, Riven until, was right. It is we like a it just started with this. Whole other world now. I'm going in cab. <laughs> oh, I haven't been in cab in this thing yet. And I'm digging this tractor more than I was digging the other one, that's for sure. Oh, getting a little far away. Unfortunately, the mirrors don't actually help me see anything. Yeah. There's this actually a mod me, yeah. to adjust mirrors on FS, I found one day. Yeah, it's kind of hit and miss, oh, though, eh? I think you're full SK. Oh, whoops. Yep. <laughs> I don't have my HUD on because it doesn't matter <laughs> and I'm time-lapsing, but I was in cab and going, huh, where'd the, where'd the stream of stuff go? I don't see it. I was in cab trying to, you know, not hit anything. <laughs> Oh, this window works great back here. This is a cool little mod. This, uh, what is it, 4440? She really grunts uh, going up the hill into the yard under a full load. Oh, yeah. Which is cool, because it probably should. Yeah. I gotta say, I like the sound of these case tractors. That case sounds good. I can hear it yeah. better than I hear my own vehicle. Yeah. Okay, I'm at 95. I'm going. I'm going to unload. 96%. Oh, okay. SK is just sitting around again, as usual, so I figured I'd go get. let him do something. Now I'm trying to get. Uh, see if I can run with GPS here. Yeah, the on skilled drivers like to do that, so I figured, you know. I, you know, I have to say, for how how much of a, a hard time Livin had trying to drive the uh, grain cart with the combine in the other field, he's really redeemed himself tonight yeah. and done an excellent <laughs> job with the chopper box here. So, oh man. It's obviously gone to my head. <laughs> <laughs> Are we turning left still? Yeah, we I'm just knocking these last couple rows out while we're here. Oh yeah, when you when you sped up, I sped up big. Well, the dumping issues are gone anyway. Yeah, yeah. Th those issues are like it's the first time you dump each wagon, it's glitchy, and then it's good until you have to quit the game and come back in again. Oh yeah, speed sync, GPS setup. This is this is the life, guys. <laughs> Amateur. <clears throat> hey, we're we're keeping up now too with this thing. <laughs> it feels like everything's going so much smoother. So, I think actually this will work good once we we are in the other field. Like I feel like we'll be able to keep up. Oh, wow, we're I almost just done. Wish you guys didn't have so much like boring downtime while you're unloading. Nah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm looking for my row down here. I think it's one more. I could probably cut the angle down, but... Get better each time we do it. It's killing my inner OCD that we're cutting this at the angle, though, compared to the visual row on the field. The only thing is, once we're done chopping, you'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing I do love about forage harvesting here, chopping, whatever you want to call it, is that it's a very forgiving job compared to, you know, a lot of the other tasks. Like, I'm just mowing down anything I come in front of, and this pipe can shoot its, you know, chaff pretty far. So even if we're not completely lined up like we should be, it's probably going to figure it out. So if you're really chopping, would you bother with chopping rows straight? Or would you just chop it? Yeah. Over? No, stuff feeds in better. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm full. I full again. Every time I go to do something, 
I just turned my HUD off. To, you know, snap a picture for Livin. Now the Please question uh, is, will we get the rest of this into Livin's wagon here, or are we going to need uh, one more trip from SK? I kind of hope so, because I spent so much time trying to get everything all set up. and. <laughs> <laughs> you want one more pass to ah. see it working. I've got at least two more rounds here, I think. We should have a tractor race, me, me and SK. <laughs> <coughs> I think yours is probably faster. Although, if it was from a dead stop and it was a short distance race, I wonder if uh, SK could get there faster because those uh, 40 series bounce up into eighth gear pretty good. He might have a concussion when his head hits the <laughs> rear window, but <laughs> they've got some get up and go. All right, I'm at 95 here. All right, you should go and we'll take SK on the last pass here. Yep. Oops. 98, actually, they met. Oh, crap. Game must be saving. No. No, is that doing anything for oh, me? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Up the runway. There we go. Oh, is he coming? <laughs> I got like serious rubber banding going on. I'm finally down in the mid 20 millisecond range. Shifting my track over. <laughs> Thoughts on before we stop because we got just a little bit of silage mixing up some TMR for the cows. Yeah, we have to find a animal feed mixer. I don't think we bought one yet, have we? Uh uh. I'm sure there's one available in the dealership somewhere here. Final pass. All right. I'm really curious to see once we get up here with uh, this load, just how much we ended up with in total. Yeah. Because I, I can't remember what the mix is, but, you know, I think we'll probably end up using like 50% uh, silage and then like 30% hay, 20% uh, straw, something like that for TMR. Oh, that's right, we do have straw. We do. And that's where, you know, uh, especially with this machine, you know, we get that other field chopped and we'll have plenty of silage to keep these cows going for quite a while. Turn off the rolling blades of death here before I drive up in the yard and kill somebody. <laughs> yeah. This was uh, definitely worth it, though, upgrading to this uh, machine compared to the pull behind. No regrets. Yeah, those pull behind should be illegal. <laughs> You're all empty, living. Yep. Sweet. Do you think that we could put, like, silage into the forage wagon? Oh, uh, good question. Like, use that as our feed wagon? Well... We have to mix uh, TMR first, so we need a mixer. But you can put silage in these. Grass straw, silage, hay, and chaff. I think that we sell the Alice and buy the Magnum. Yeah, I'm with you guys. I think it's uh, a nice upgrade for us. That thing worked really well. Mm-hmm. But you get more money if you sell down at the store, don't you? Yeah, I a little bit. Remember, you did an FS nineteen. It is a little bit. Let's see here. So we've got the silage going on slow mode. Uh, we've got. Let me switch this to tons. So we've got one point eight tons of silage already made, and ninety seven point one tons of chaff. So that's almost a hundred tons off of that field. Not quite. That's impressive. So all this hard work to make some food for these moo moos over here. Let's see what we've got. They've got a little bit of food still. All yeah. right, so we need a uh, feed wagon and we need to get rid of this Alice. 
since we're upgrading equipment left and right. The Alice isn't worth much. It's only 28k. It's uh, it's good that we're, you know, not in debt. Yeah. What debt? Hmm? I didn't see any uh, debt payments when we were <laughs> <laughs> ticking the days by. Um, are you fixing this thing, SK? I just did. Okay. Whole nine dollars in repair. I'm gonna just sell it here. Okay. Peace out, Alice. Boom. All right. Let's see what kind of a uh, feed mixer I can find. We've got the Coon for 29. I don't know if I have any mods on here. I don't. I mean, at our current scale, that's more than enough. Yeah. I'm going to just buy it to. So are we going to mix up some TMR before we? Uh... Yeah, let's let's uh, mix up some TMR here. So I'll grab the magnum yep. and hook it up here. Oh, we don't have manual attached anymore. Sweet. I'm going to move this out of the way. Yeah, we could probably. Well, yeah, that we need, we'll just be going out to the other field with it eventually here. Not today. Not, Not today. today. <laughs> Will this fit? It won't. Sure, oh, no. combine fits. No, it's going to take the uh, beacon light off. <laughs> well, in America, we shouldn't have beacons anyway. Oh, here That's goes the beacon. In beacon reality, does it go in? Or, or, you know, in... Oh, we just had to let some air out of the tires. Not oh, an okay. uncommon thing for people that I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got here. I'm going to start with the silage. The silage? We have dainty cows, so it's silage. Oh, we don't have that much silage <laughs> made yet. <laughs> We've only got 4.9, right? Uh, and then we need to we need to add some balais. Yeah, so I only got 31% here. Why don't you so, uh, drop out a couple of uh, hay bales and a straw bale, and we'll see how it does. Yeah, do the hay first. Hey. Oh, you went too far. Okay, do um, <laughs> one more hay. Oh, man. That was, so we were at 31% with silage. That was 5%. So this will be 10%. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing, SK? <laughs> All right. Um, living, we're going to need... Damn you, hay bale. So that's 10. So each bale is 5%, and we're at 41%. I need a minimum of four more hay bales and four more straw bales. That'll be 20%. And then we can live with it. Oh, you're doing... Way to go, SK. Why don't you just take all the glory here? What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, why did you, why'd you bring five out? <laughs> oh, this is like unorganized chaos. Oh, hey, I can see the numbers when I stand next to it now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm definitely overtired at this point. A little slap happy. What? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What the heck? All right, no more straw. No more straw? Yeah, we're past the limits on straw. There. All right, I'm going to run with that. Although, I guess, well... I think we need to stretch the grass further than the silage. So what do we have in there, in there now? Is it, uh, is actually, it no, we've got a lot of... I, I changed my mind. I'm going to put a couple more hay bales in here, like three or four. All right, let's... I just want to max... Since we've gone to the trouble of, like, mixing a load, I want to maximize how much we get out of this first load, if that makes sense. 
because we the silage now that I'm doing math is maybe not the thing we've got the most of right now. All right, that yeah, we're should at yeah. do it. Yep. Oh yeah, we're at a hundred percent. Deadly. <laughs> Let's see if I can nudge a couple cows out of the way here. Where's the zone? This cow is just like not having it. I briefly saw the pop up. There it is. I can't go close enough. I can't go to the pit. I've got to dump it on the ground next to it. Yeah. Oh, it's slowly filling up. Do you remember how much feed the uh, cows were eaten before? <laughs> I can't remember. I know when we started the, tonight, we were at like 13,000 liters of food. Okay. Well, we've got over 10,000 liters of TMR in there now, so. Yep. We're up. We'll be in a good spot now. 16, almost 17,000 liters right now. Sweetness. And that's, that's TMR, so that's. Good yep. food. So we're going to be getting much better milk production now, and I can't wait to see where we get with the reproduction rates when we get there. My son. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be spitting out baby cows like you won't believe. That'd be nice, because we need some more money. <laughs> All right, so uh, just taking one last glance here at things. We're at, oh, 50% of our reproduction timer's up already. So we've only got to go another, what, six months probably to get a whole batch of additional cows here. We've got a bunch of TMR looking good. And, man, we got a ton of slurry, so we might have to get a uh, slurry spreader of some oh, yeah. kind. Or, you know, maybe, maybe you know what? We should probably just sell it to somebody and uh, let them deal with that equipment. I don't know if yep. we're set up for running slurry ourselves just yet. No, I'd say we can no. use the extra cash. Yeah, probably. Cool. Well, this has been a uh, successful episode for a change. <laughs> we, we only had uh, our normal amount of problems, I feel like. <laughs> And we've got a bunch of silage going now. I can't wait to jump into that other field. That other field's a lot bigger. So we're going to get a lot more silage off of that field. Good deal. All right. We'll catch you guys next time. Sweet. Can't wait to make some more silage. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you.